Hi everybody, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Today I got happy mail. I did, I peeked. I, I'm not gonna lie, I had to. I did, I got, I got this. Yeah, it's like this tiny little package and I can feel it inside and it's like, ooh, it feels like a tape measure. We know like my tape measures. I couldn't wait, I, I couldn't. So my note, Happy birthday. This is from my friend Susan in Maryland. And she said, I hope you enjoy the bees, your friend Susan. So of course I had to change into my Busy Bee sweater. This is the Busy Bee colorway, Arcane Fiberworks, and the rest is charcoal uh, colorway, Arcane Fiberworks, made the entire thing in fingering weight yarn. Love it. That's a free pattern on Ravelry called Scandinaz, and it was so worth it. It's It was so worth making this. I used four full skeins of fingering wet yarn. So, obviously the note with the bees, you know, I'm like, yes, let me go put on my bee thing and get in there. So I peeked a little, right? So I got this, look at this. So it's not a tape measure. No, it's in um, one of those little tins like you get for this stuff, this barber cord, right? So it's in one of those little tins like that. So let's see what's inside. It's got the little tissue paper on top, okay. Okay, so there are some of the barber cords in there. I got, I got, I got a green one and a black one and, oh, there's no disappoint here like there would be. Wow, I got bee things. Yes. Oh, these are nice. Look at that. Like the little bee stitch markers. And this one has the, um, the claw uh, clip on it. That is nice. I got the bees. So I got a couple of those. Oop, wrong side. Those are awesome. Thank you so much, Susan. These things are fantastic. So a couple of the bees and look at this. Oh my gosh, it's the little beehive. Oh, these are fantastic. Yes, these are going into rotation. Oh, look at that one. Look, that's like the beehive with the little stained glass kind of thing, right? That is so pretty. These are fantastic. Oh my goodness. And I had a flower because you know, the bees have to go after the flower. That's for the honey, right? There you go. That's, you know, otherwise you're not going to fill up those honey things. Oh my goodness. And another, these are all different too. Did you notice that? They're different shapes. Those are really nice. And so I wonder, Susan, I don't know. Did you make these yourself? That's pretty. Look at that. Look how nice that goes, right? You know, just kind of right there. Got some jewelry. That is so pretty. Look at that. That is just stunning. These are such nice gifts. Thank you so much. And you can never have too much of this. This try and core stuff, that is amazing. I remember um, when the lady at the local yarn store, you know, the owner was talking about it. And okay, I know they're trying to sell their stuff too. We get that, right? I mean, you know, if they don't sell stuff, then they don't have a, you don't have a store to go to and you can't hang out with your friends. That is, so there you go. So she was talking about it and saying, oh, it's a real good game changer. You really want to use this stuff. It's great. And I'm like, yeah, 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 it's a gimmick. I don't care, right? You know, because I've got long cables and I can put my stuff on a long cable and transfer it from one thing to another. Well, I finally broke down and I bought some. No joke. I really like it. I mean, you've seen me use it when I transfer stuff from one thing to another. And like when my husband was trying on his sweater, I was trying on this sweater. Um, even that cardigan that I'm working on right now, instead of waiting for my birthday yarn, like I should have, right? Even that I use the try on cords and everything. And those are fantastic. And the cool thing too is it's, it's just like this little hollow tube. I know you can't really see that, but it's a little hollow tube is what it is. And you stick your needle in there until it's really tight. But after a little while, that end can get kind of frayed. That's okay. You just snip that off and then you're good. You know, and your little cord gets a little bit shorter each time, but that's okay. You're fine. Um, so I thought that was fantastic. And, and I really do use them and they are very much appreciated. So thank you so much, Susan, for all the lovely stitch markers. That was so kind of you and so generous. And the, the cable cords, which I do use. I greatly appreciate it. And those stitch markers are going into heavily used because we know I like the bees. I like the bees. I like the bee themes. There we go. You know, do they look short? Do my sleeves look short? I know, tangent. I have eight grams of yarn left. I will unravel that cuff and make that longer. I will. I can. I got plenty of the charcoal left. And my husband being the husband that he is, I got the um, Rising Phoenix for my birthday that he picked out for me in fingering weight yarn. It is stunning. Oh my goodness. It is so amazing. 
Um, but then I was looking at, do I do the whole thing with just the Rising Phoenix or do I need a contrasting color? Well, of course I need the contrasting color. So he did put in another order for two more hanks of the charcoal. I don't really need to, but you know, free shipping, two, you know, two or more hanks and it's shipped free from Canada. So, you know, get two. And uh, then he threw other things into the cart. Yeah. I'm not sure which one of us is more addicted. You know what I'm getting at? You know, so uh, I will have that when it arrives. And as we know, Arcane Fiberworks is never late. So when that shows up, I will do that. And kind of hoping that it is a few days late. It's not going to be late. I'm just saying it's never late. Uh, so I can try to get some other things done because we know I would like to cast on with that gorgeous new yarn that he got me. And I did bring upstairs uh, one of the skeins of the I Ain't Afraid of No Ghosts that he got. And I was contemplating winding that one too to do something. I don't know what, but to make something with that. I mean, hello, it's stunning, gorgeous birthday yarn. I have to do something with it. All right, so I had that wonderful present from my friend Susan, but I also got some happy mail from Carrie the Yarny Elephant. And I was watching her, if you're not familiar with her, check her out, I'll link her down below. She does a lot of lives, a lot of lives, and she has them scheduled. And it's just such a nice way to, you know, if you've got the time, just pop in and hang out and just listen to the conversations. So she had some games going on on one of them and I won an Emma Groomy book. So that is in the mail. And it is right here. So a cute little amigurumi book. This is 30 crochet patterns for adorable animals, playful plants, sweet treats, and more. Which I find kind of interesting because when I was working on the things we're making Thursday, when they had the, um, the household objects, I wanted to make a house plant. I didn't end up making it. I forget what I made. I made something. I, I don't know what. But I wanted to do a house plant. And now look at this. Look on the cover right there. You've got the house plant right there. And those are absolutely adorable. You've got the cacti back there, watermelon, hamburger. Oh, and the hamburger. It's all the different pieces. So if you made that for a child, it could be, you know, one of those toys they can put place together or what have you. But a lot of fun. So this one's adorable. You've got, I, I said, it's it's a lot of food. Well, I mean, the front cover shows shows you a lot, a lot of food items, right? Just cute, whimsical, like a lot of stuffed animals, has no purpose except they're cute. That is the only purpose for, I think, anything in this book is, well, it's cute. And why do you make it? As I like to say, because I can. Like, this is another one of the little popsicle things, which is great, but it's got a carrot on top. It looks like a carrot to me. It, I, it says blueberry sauce. Oh yeah, it says carrot right there in the instructions. It really does. So it's a something with blueberry sauce and a carrot. So bubbly bunny popsicle. Okay, it's a bunny rabbit popsicle with blueberry sauce and a carrot. I don't understand. I'm not the one that made it, but you can. Why? because you can. There's no other reason to make anything in this book except for I could do it. That is it. I do think the carrot's cute though. You don't have to put it on a popsicle. I mean, um, but if you want carrots on your popsicle, by all means, more power to you. This is kind of cute with the ice cream cone and the three different scoops. You got the panda in there, a regular ice cream and another like a unicorn type thing. Uh, I'm not really sure where the theme's going with this, but we'll, we'll go with it, right? So there's a lot of cute things with this one. I'm not sure. Is that like a little strawberry walking around? Could be. I do like the cute little cheeks. And this isn't the the scary cheeks like, like on this one. Remember I got this book right here and you got those puffy cheeks. And like, if I can find it, that mermaid, the, the scary mermaid that we talked about. And, and everyone told me that that was from the movie Saw. That came with those those cheeks from the movie Saw. So at least this one doesn't have scary cheeks. That's the thing. All right, now now I'm I, I made comments on it, and now the mermaid pattern doesn't want to present itself. I don't blame it. It was scary and nightmare causing. Oh, there it is. Okay, look. Just for everyone that has not seen this and doesn't know what I'm talking about, you make that for a child. The child's gonna have nightmares. Now I think maybe if you did the mermaid without those weird cheeks, it'd be fine. But I um, I don't know if I've seen the movie Saw. I know it's got multiple parts as a horror thing. I get that. But I've seen 
the advertisements, I've seen that particular look with those cheeks like that. And I know it's associated with horror. Um, there's a lot of other cute books or patterns in here. This one I got uh, during Amazon's um, what Amazon days? Yeah, something like that. And I got it shipped to my door for less than $5. Of course I had to get it, right? It's got 40 patterns in there. It's really cute. Absolutely adorable. Um, I think on that one, this one, usability patterns, this one has more. Don't do not do the mermaid man, unless, unless you don't really like the kid and you want him to have nightmares, but we won't go there. Um, this one is adorable and it's very whimsical. Um, just, just because you can totally, I can see these making these and putting them on your desk at work just because you can, there's no other reason. Um, I don't know how much the child would just like, I want to have an ice cream sundae amigurumi that I can hug and snuggle, but I can see a child or an adult for that matter, going after the hippo here or the bear or th things along that line. Uh, so yeah, it's just, it's absolutely adorable. It, so here you go. You can see the flower, like I was talking about. The big flower and you can have a lot of fun with your colors as far as that's concerned and you know enjoy all the bright beautiful colors of cotton of course you can do anything you want but a lot of times with the amigurumi they will do cotton it holds up pretty well and a lot of times they'll use like the stuff you can get from hobby the the smaller cotton more towards that fingering weight and uh i know a lot of people are like no uh -uh, i'm going for big yarn i don't blame you use what you want i like the the tear. I like the drop of water. I do like that one. I don't know why. I just think that one's cute. So that one I find adorable. Um, here's more of your food items. Like I was saying, you've got the hamburger in multiple pieces, your pizza, you've got donuts there, french fries, uh, lemon drinks. I mean, like you said, this it's, it's a cute little book with a lot of quirky things. The fry is cute as far as like a pickup sticks kind of a game. Look at that, you know, you're going to lose them all. If you give it to a kid, they're going to lose them. You're going to have little crocheted French fries stuffed underneath the couch and you won't know why. It's bad enough you have the regular ones, right? If you got car seats with little kids, woo, I don't miss those days. <laughs> you know, the car's being well fed. Oh, wait, look, look at this one. Okay, so this one is like a little bear and it's got the little strawberry on top. So you can make a carrot or a strawberry. That's kind of cute. I kind of like that. So there you go. That is my um, nice winnings as far as that goes. Ooh, all right. Here's the whole house plant set. So if I do get so inclined to decide that I have to make house plants, I now have some patterns and don't have to make them up myself. So that's kind of nice. So again, this is the 30 crochet patterns, two cute amigurumi. And I won this from Carrie, the yarny elephant. And check her out. She's actually wonderful to listen to. Very enjoyable. If you don't have things already in your routine, click it. You may, you may enjoy her. She's fun. And then this one I got during the Amazon, um, Amazon days, you know, I was looking for all the craft deals, uh, like everyone else that's addicted to yarn did. Right. And Hey, I found a book. There you go. So that is my fun stuff. Um, wonderful extended birthday. I had to put on my Busy Bee sweater again. Wonderful extended birthday with my friend sending me those beautiful stitch markers. They will be very well used. No doubt about that. Had to keep them away from a dog. I have one dog that likes shiny things, right? He's like a little magpie. Keep him away from him because he will go after them too. They are beautiful. And if you're interested in the books, I will link them down below. Um, yeah, I know. Great review, right? Just scary mermaid, dude. Scary mermaid, scary gnome. Everything else is fine, but this does have a couple scary pictures in there. I don't know what they were thinking with those cheeks. I'm not going to lie. I, I have no idea. Like they're trying to petrify kids. I'm not sure. And then these are fun, quirky things just to make. Now I wonder, for the, everyone that does the bazaars and fairs and markets and they crochet things and they knit things and they take them to fair and everything with them, is this something that would sell? I, I, I don't know. I, have, um, uh, I haven't been to any uh, recently. I, I did go to a few last year and I thought that was a great fun. I didn't see things like this particularly, but I know a lot of plushies, a lot of things made with blanket yarn. Definitely. I don't know if they necessarily sell well or because it's not like I talk to people on, hey, I see what you have on display, but that doesn't mean you sold them, right? We know that how that goes. So I'm curious, is this something that sells? What what sells in the crafting bazaar world nowadays? No clue. 
which is probably why I don't set up a table and everything and do that because I have no idea what people are interested in. I just know what I like and that's, that's as far as that goes. All right, everybody, you guys have a great day, night, evening, and I will talk to you again later. It has been such a joy. Bye-bye.